Good morning, Aries. Happy Monday. Happy fire sign day. I hope you guys had a great weekend and you are starting us off for the week. We hopefully, Aries, we will brew some positivity. I love that. All right. Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. Wheel of Fortune for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Strength, Two of Pentacles. I like that. Two of Pentacles um, is going with the flow, not trying to control things. Whatever happens, happens. Strength card. Feeling uh, aligned, feeling really strong. Ooh, Seven of Wands and the Strength card going on here. Five of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles reverse. I Whatever this energy is, um, maybe things are starting to finally click into place. But uh, I'll, t I'll be honest. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands reverse. There's a tiny bit that might be somebody about you. That's why I was a bit hesitant. Let's see what's going on, Aries. I was kind of getting a second energy there. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. If you are an Aries, know an Aries, feel like being an Aries. Well, Aries, I'm glad you're here. You can be an Aries and this resonates. You can be dealing with an Aries. It can resonate as the main story. And Aries can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about an Aries or for an Aries. Did I just say that? I feel like I just said that. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on. What's shaking bacon? What's shaking bacon? For our Aries, Five of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. I just feel like somebody's really out in the cold looking in. That's what that, that feeling is. On the outside looking in, into your life. Maybe somebody's watching, watching, watching you quite a bit. All right, what's the general energy, collective energy for the Aries? Collective energy for the Aries. What's going on? All right, that's a lot. We got the, oh, that's a lot, Aries. The Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Wands, but then who? The Four of Cups reversed and the Chariot reversed put a halt to something. Four of Cups reversed, no longer waiting on something that may have had you waiting. Look at this energy. There you are, Four of Wands. Some of you could be moving, buying a house, new relationship. It's just things are really. It's like things are really starting to click into place. Wheel of Fortune and the Fool, maybe. You have a new job, a new relationship, just newness coming into your life, the energy of it. Um, but I want to pull an actual one card for that. I'm telling you, Aries, Aries, Aries. Okay, what is the main energy for Aries here? What is the main energy for Aries? What is the main energy for Aries? Can I get one card, please? Can I get one card? Can I get one card for Aries? What's the collective energy for Aries? What's the collective energy? Oh my God. I think it's, look at this King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I'm taking this. Look at that King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Then below that is the Emperor and then the Knight of Wands reverse. I told you, I feel like you have somebody on the outside looking in with this High Priestess. And it literally looks like maybe they're hiding their feelings. Maybe you dealt with this person already. Maybe you haven't dealt with this person yet. But seven of wands reverse. It just, you could be pushing this particular person away. Or you could just be doing you. Because we got a king of pentacles and a two of pentacles. This is pretty self-focused in the career. On the pentacles, on the, on the material things of life. I feel like you're just very confident these days. What's influencing the two of pentacles and the king of pentacles? top of the world. What's influencing the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles? At least this is, I, I keep wanting to say this is how this person perceives you. What's influencing the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles? And the King of Cups. Got some new love, Aries. Lots of King energy coming out. Your Emperor, all four Kings. All right, what's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? The King of Swords. Look at these kings coming out. Clarity, making a decision, not going back on this decision. So, there's somebody with a lot of emotion coming in. I feel here, Aries, I feel like you're the Two of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. At least this is how the person sees you. I think somebody, I think you have a ship coming in. I think you have an offer coming in. Um, King of Swords is, this. I feel like this person's had their eye on you for some time. 
very clear on what they want. What's in the past here? What's in the past? What's in the past? That's crazy, all this king. What's in the past? The strength card once again. Some of you could be single parents. Okay, what's on your mind? Judgment. Look at the bottom of the deck, the king of wands, another king. What's in the near future? I think you got somebody very enamored. It feels very new. It feels very new. I did. I, maybe you started a new job. Um, this is very, the King of Pentacles is very capable. It's very dependable. It's something you can count on, but it's someone you also can look up towards. And I feel like you got somebody who is also equally dependable, but I just feels like they just, it's just, this person is, I feel like they, they just have a lot of emotion but maybe they're used to keeping their emotions under wraps because I feel like this King of Swords and the King of Cups is the same person. What is, what's in the near future for Aries? And there it is. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Give me one more card there, please. Virgo energy. What's in the near future for Aries? What's in the near future for Aries? If this is at work, Aries, a card went flying. I, this is starting to feel like this is at work. Maybe they're, maybe you're their superior or they could be your superior too. But I kind of feel like with you being a king of pentacles here, I think you got, I think somebody has got a serious crush on you and a 10 of cups reverse and a nine of pentacles reverse in the near future. That might honestly be you not wanting to focus on this or if this is at work. Look at that, two of swords and an ace of swords and a page of pentacles. I think they're coming in with an offer, but I feel like you might be deliberating on this one. Um, only because I feel like it might be, it might be a work scenario kind of thing. Bottom of the deck, two of pentacles and then a three of wands reverse. Ten of pentacles reverse. Might be trying really hard not to give to this because, it, like I said, if it's a work scenario, you don't want to lose your job over this. You don't want it to get messy. Emperor and a five of wands reverse. I feel like you, I think somebody's very enamored with you. All right. King of Pentacles and two of Pentacles influenced by the King of, King of Cups. King of Pentacles and the two of Pentacles influenced by the King of Cups for Aries. Very good reading though. I just, I really get that Knight of, see the Knight of Pentacles reverse the Virgo energy can be a card of managing negative expectations. And you could be in your head thinking of the things that could go wrong if you actually give to this, this energy. I'm not saying there's something wrong with them, but it might just be the whole scenario. You just, it just feels like it would get messy very quickly. King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles influenced by the King of Cups. What is that about? King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles influenced by the King of Cups. Yeah, and the Hangman. I feel like you're just kind of hanging back, trying to, I don't, honestly, I don't think you're giving this person a whole lot of energy, but I don't think you need to. King of Cups again and a King of Wands reverse. Yeah, Seven of Cups reverse. I th honestly think you're trying really hard to keep this from getting messy. I just keep getting the word messy. Maybe you both are in relationships or it's a work thing. Seven of cups reverse in the hangman. I think you're just, I, I think you're trying hard not to feed this. What's the king of swords reason for the reading? It is the four of wands reverse. Give me one more card, Aries. That King of Swords, honestly, that might actually be you. Four, four of Wands reverse. Why the Four of Wands reverse? There's the messiness, I think. There's the messiness. Nine of Wands reverse and the Ace of Wands. If I, I really get somebody's in a relationship and you get this many kings going on, your kings are typically married. 
Four of Wands reverse, somebody may not be necessarily happy, but you might be waiting for somebody to actually get out of something before something else begins. Like I said, a King of Swords is, is not very, they're together, they're, they're not very chatty, they don't reveal how they feel. Now that I see all these cards out here, I'm more inclined to believe that the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords is actually Aries. I feel like you've got somebody who's might be a little more brazen with how they feel. And you, I feel like, are trying to keep it together because you don't want to, you just don't want anything messy. What's the strength in the past? Leo energy. What's the strength in the past? The justice reverse. And if you did deal with this person before, it's, I mean, Ace of Cups reverse, justice reverse could have held your energy back until they're single or you're single. You just, I really get somebody doesn't want to step out of their, um, somebody doesn't want to get involved in a third party. That's what I'm getting. Here's the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. But you got somebody who's just determined, four of pentacles here and a page of swords, determined to hold on to like maybe messaging, even, I just don't think you're giving this person a whole lot of energy. Four cups and eight of pentacles reverse, but this person is relentless, Aries, relentless to have you. I mean, I know it sounds like a soap opera. What's the judgment on your mind? What's the judgment on your mind? You got judgment and a justice reverse. Aries is like, I am not getting it anything. Like you don't want to be involved in a breaking up a home. You don't want to get into a third party. You're trying hard not to give into this. This person is laying it on thick. What's the judgment on your mind? And the Knight of Wands. Why the Knight of Wands? Sagittarius energy. Why the Knight of Wands? And the Six of... But that's just it. It's two different energies. Knight of Wands is passion. It's... it's I, I get a lot of messaging. I get flirtation. I get... I really feel like you're trying hard with this King of Swords. I feel like you are actually holding your cup back. I think you're holding how you feel back. Six of Pentacles reverse. You're trying not to feed this. But man, this person is, you got another energy. One energy is laying it on pretty heavy. Nine of Pentacles reverse and a Ten of Cups reverse in the near future. What is that about? Ten of Cups reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Pisces and Virgo, both knights in reverse. I think you're trying not to push this along until in judgment once again. You, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, give me one more card. Why the judgment? Why the judgment? Ten of Cups reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles reverse. I just feel this person's got to be come to you correct. I honestly, I feel like you probably have feelings for them. I don't know if they know that. But if as long as they're still attached to anybody, you don't want to get involved in it. Ten of Swords reverse here. You got two tens in reverse. If, yeah. Ten of Swords Reverse is something that's not quite over, and I don't feel like that's you. I think that's their situation. Until it is, I think you're holding it back. Yeah, Emperor, I th you're you're you are in complete control. But the man here's that Page of Swords and the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. I think this is kind of it's it's like cute. There might be messaging. There might be flirtation. I don't think you're really feeding this though. Three of Wands. Ace of Cups reverse. I th I don't honestly, Aries, I don't think this person knows how you feel. I don't think so. I think actually that makes them, the Empress and the Eight of Wands, I think it's even making them work even harder to try to get your attention because they don't know how you feel, truly. Because with all your energy is a Nine of Pentacles reverse, a Six of Pentacles reverse, a Three of Wands, Ace of Cups reverse. And all of theirs is like on full blast. And so, but I'm get, I suspect you like the energy. You just want them to come correct. You want them to come clean. You don't want, you don't want any kind of like 
multiple multiple uh, scenario relationship things going on. You it, you just want to clean. You, I think you're over these complicated connections. So that's what I have for you, Aries. You've got somebody who's laying it on thick, who is enamored. I, I got the word enamored, but I think this person is like all over your social media, like all over your photos, all over, you, you know, like screenshotting. That's what I get. I think if you, if you ever peeked in their phone, you'd probably see a lot of your photos in their phone. Just saying, just saying. All right, Aries, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you cutie pies later. Take care.